Servus, this is Helmut from Chiang Mai, Thailand. Happy to see you. Lately, I visited Pai. This is about 763 curves away from here. And I will share with you the places I've visited and how I really truly feel about it so that you can get an idea if you plan to go to Pai, whether you would like it there or maybe not. First of all, Pai is a very beautiful experience. Of course, it's most famous for its 763 curves here from Chiang Mai to Pai. And to go there by motorbike makes really a lot of fun. It's really very beautiful. And Pai itself is special. Such a lovely vibe. Everyone is so friendly, locals are so friendly and talkative and also the tourists are very, very friendly. There are so many different people, but what they all have in common is their kindness. That alone makes Pai as one of the best places to visit in Thailand. That's really my personal favor. It's a place where you really can enjoy yourself. First important thing is where to stay. And of course, everyone has different preferences, but just a raw overview. We stayed at this beautiful resort and it was less than 20 US dollar per night. With this very nice rooftop terrace on the bungalow and even a nice swimming pool. And that in a very natural place. And it was less than one kilometer to the walking street in Pai. We have visited the Chinese village and the Yun Lai viewpoint. Then, of course, the Pai walking street. After that, we went about 50 kilometer north to the Nam Lot cave or Tam Nam Lot, how you say it in Thai. And then also on this way, we went to this $1 noodle soup shop and the coffee shop with the one million dollar view. Back in Pai we visited the Mo Peng waterfall, then the Ko Ku So bamboo bridge. The biggest attraction of Pai, the Pai Canyon, and my favorite I will tell you at the end. So stay tuned. So let's start with the Pai Canyon. It should be one of the biggest attractions of Pai. And I really absolutely agree with that. It's a real landmark. I was blown away because many times when something is promoted as a great attraction, I find it only a little bit attractive. But the Pai Canyon is different. I would have never thought that the Pai Canyon is such a monumental experience. It's about 12 kilometers outside of Pai downtown in the direction to Chiang Mai. In my opinion, an absolutely must see in Pai. You can take a gentle walk there and enjoying the sunset or dawn. Or if you like it, you can also clamber around and having real sports activities. The reason why I like it nearly the most, it's replenishing emotional fuel when you walk around there. It's not only an epic view, you can really feel a satisfying vibe there. And that is why I nearly like it the most of all things in Pai. The next was the Chinese village and the Yun Lai viewpoint. The village is about 10 kilometers northwest from Pai. There's a very historical background about these Chinese people immigrated from China to Thailand. But actually, it should be most famous for the beautiful view. And if I'm honest, it was the least must see in Pai to me but this is only my opinion. And I don't mean that the place is bad, not at all. It's just in the comparison to the other places in Pai. To my personal perception, it has nothing 
by itself to me. The view is very nice, but not stunning. The way it will attract me is to go there to the coffee shop that also has a very nice view with my laptop and work there all day long. And that is many times better to me than any co-working spaces. But going there for to see an attraction, I just don't see it in my personal preferences. Then the main attraction of Pi, the Pi Walking Street, or some people also call it Night Market. The walking street of Pi is just a fraction of that what it was before the pandemic. There were a lot of artists, a lot of handcrafts shown on the street and of course a lot and plenty of Thai food was there. Nowadays it looks like just gapping emptiness. But to my personal preferences, in my opinion, it feels actually cozier with less people. But for the exhibitors, of course, it's a pity. But to me, there is still this nice, lovely vibe and groove in the air. So this is not like it was before, but it is still one of my favorite activities to enjoy the evening by walking up and down this street. And then we went about 50 kilometers north of Pai to the Nam Lot Cave or Tam Nam Lot, how you call it in Thai. That was really an epic experience. Tam Nam Lot Cave experience is a very good description about this incredible tour. I felt like walking through a natural wonder. To me, it feels like that this place has a beautiful story to tell to you. We made a tour through the cave with a local guide for 500 baht and this is actually the way how it is there. This includes like a walk for two people and the light for them for about a three hour trip. And that was an epic experience. Our guide was like most or like you would experience mostly and always in Thailand, very easy going, very friendly and very talkative and very funny. So it was just and to enjoy the trip with our guide and the cave exceeded my expectation by far. On one end of the cave there are it's very famous for the birds. There are like thousands of birds flying inside the cave and that is very outstanding in some way how the birds communicate to each other so that they can fly into the cave because if all together would like fly in the cave it would be too crowded. There would be accidents. So they have really a system by themselves even. Science said they are not able to talk so that they can fly in, into the cave without any accident. And after this, we did a loop to this one million dollar view with noodle soup and coffee. And I will explain what I mean by that. It's the Ja Bo village in the mountains of Mehong Son. And it's so famous for its one dollar noodle soup and its one million dollar view. It's really outstanding, stunning. And really, it is an attraction to me. You wouldn't go there for the view alone. It's too far. But if you are already at the cave there, this is a really nice bonus to see. You let your feet dangling while you enjoy your coffee or soup and the view. And after that, we went back to Pai downtown. Back in Pai, we visited the Mo Peng waterfall and this was by far the most funniest waterfall experience I've ever had in my life. It's priceless. The Mo Peng waterfall is about 10 kilometers northwest from downtown and even the way to the waterfall is a very beautiful drive. Arrived there, I really had a lot of fun playing with some local kids there. They were so funny, so talkative, 
that was amazing. And that is what it made it so beautiful to me. It was also that they were actually mostly locals. They were so friendly, so welcoming, so easy going, so easy having a chat with them. And you could or can feel that they are really happy to have a chat with you. They quite curious and ask you a lot of questions like where you come from, if you're on holiday there or if you live in Thailand and what are you doing in Pai and how long and so on. So that made this afternoon even much more like a real Thai experience. The Nam Tok Mo Peng is definitely a must to do for me when you are in Pai. Even the entrance to the Mopeng waterfall looks kinda desolate. It still feels like an oyster in the jungle. And why I love this so much, it's not only because you can take a swim there. It's the whole experience at this place where you are among happy people who are just having fun. Something less adventurous was the Ko Ku So bamboo bridge. I hope I pronounced it right. This is actually a bamboo bridge which was built for the monks so that they can walk from their monastery in the middle of the woods there to the village. But then it got discovered by the tourists and now it's also a tourist attraction. It's a bit a long way to there, it's about 15 kilometers. So to go there for the bamboo bridge alone is probably not attraction enough. But maybe you combine it with a visit at the hot springs there or the land split or a waterfall nearby. That may be probably a good idea. It's a beautiful place where you can easily let go your thoughts, relieve stress and charge your batteries. And now my favorite, it's the Hua Chang waterfall. This was really the most impressive experience to me in Pai. The way to the Hua Chang waterfall is outstanding, but there were some obstacles between us and the water. Unfortunately, my buddy knew had an accident on the way, so we couldn't make it to the waterfall. But still, I still say that this is the most attractive thing to me in Pai. So I will explain you right now what makes it to that. The way is the purpose. That's it when it comes to visit the Hua Chang waterfall. The road to it, it's already preparing you for nature. I felt like it's calibrating me to nature modus. And when you arrive at the parking lot, you have to go about five kilometers through the jungle to the waterfall. And I felt completely happy on this way. Pure, untouched nature. That what it makes to me the most attractive thing to do in Pai. I'm really looking forward visiting the Hua Chang waterfall the next time. And if I go there, the waterfall will be only a bonus. If I arrive at the waterfall, I will just think that's a bonus. The main purpose for me is really the walk through the jungle there. That was really the best experience I have had so far in Pai. And of course, there are many more things to see in Pai, many more beautiful waterfalls or even the hot springs. We couldn't make it to even one of the hot springs or some. There are a lot of other natural and hidden gems in and around Pai. So if this video is helpful to you or if you'd like it so far, smack the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell and we will see each other in the next video.